Minister of Power and Energy Kanchanavijay Sekura said that 20 petroleum workers, including trade union leaders who disrupted the fuel distribution process, which was declared as an essential service, was sent on compulsory leave. On Wednesday the 29th morning, so-called trade union leaders and several saboteurs totaling 20 people were sent on compulsory leave. They are prohibited from entering the premises. In addition, some are retired and working on a political agenda to engage in acts of sabotage. We have called for an investigation to determine how they entered the premises. In addition, election candidates have also entered the premises for this act. We have launched an investigation into the matter. It is disappointing to note that an SLPP trade union leader is among them. CPC had allocated four separate vehicles for the trade union leaders and these officials vehicles were also given a massive fuel quota as well that is wrong. This cabinet paper was presented by Gota Birajapaksa. I also represent the SLPP. Therefore, this was a cabinet proposal that was presented before President Ranil Vikramasinghe took office. That has been implemented by President Ranil Vikramasinghe. Bandula Saman Kumara, the chairman of the Podujana Progressive Workers' Union, which is the SLPP trade union arm of the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation, responded to the minister. He spoke to the media with trade union leaders from the JVP and the SLFP. Employees have reported to work and they were forced to work by the military and the police. The Petroleum Trade Union Collective will engage in talks regarding our future actions. We will definitely win this struggle. The strike is ongoing. We are not allowed to enter the terminal or the refinery. Conspiracy or not, it has been exposed to the country. We work to bring this government to power. We work to bring a majority of the SLPP MPs to power. Everyone is aware of that. There is no government conspiracy here. We are united as one with no party difference. There is no conspiracy here. We are trying to prevent millions of dollars being passed as commissions from multinational companies. There is no conspiracy in that. We have no desire to send this government packing. We are fighting against the injustice. That is called democracy. We work with the Democratic Party. If the party is doing something wrong, we need to be able to point it out. We would like to tell everyone in the SLPP, including its founder, Basil Raj Paksa, that this is wrong. It is wrong for them to stay silent. The policy of the SLPP is not to sell the national assets. If that is not the case, we were deceived by the SLPP manifesto. When the Hambantota port was being sold, we protested against it. We did the same for the Matale airport. We have been deceived and made use of. Do not engage in such politics. The SLPP General Secretary responded to the situation. <laughs> Minister Kanchana Vijay Sekra has said that the membership of the SLPP Petroleum Trade Union leader has been terminated. Do you agree with that? You know, no, he cannot terminate the party membership. I think his service has been suspended. We cannot agree with that. However, the administration is bound to take disciplinary action. We are not aware of the situation that led to it. If anything illegal had taken place, we too will take necessary action against it. We always take the side of the people. And there is no point in protecting state enterprises while people are forced to wait in line and have nothing to eat. Earlier, this was expected when Gota Bear was voted in to make direct decisions. Is this a re-emergence under the Ranil Vikramasinghe administration? He is doing what you could not. 
or is this some other strategy? Mak demi. No, abu tu malah dah keragangan beri je deh. Mitu mak keran. Hekko me yar. Balalu lawa koset bawa gan. Wedad demi keran ni abu tu malah. Gota be raja paksi mati tu ma. Jangan adi putih kerubi matulim balapur tu na. Itu ma ita ma riju tiran gan na daksh. When Gotabe Rajpaksa was elected as the president, it was expected that he would take direct decisions. However, he did not. As a result, he was forced to vacate his post. He worked according to what was told to him by those around him. He was forced to leave because those acts were against the policies of the country. Furthermore, he failed to provide the leadership that we expected. Next, we made Rana Vikrama Singh the president. We had two expectations from him. Democracy was deteriorating at the time and we requested him to protect democracy. He did that. Secondly, we expected economic development and he has done that. However, we cannot say yes to everything he does. Tantravade araksha kalla denna, etu ma ega udha kalla duna, deveni karne api bala parutu na, aartika sangvardhane ati karanna kiela, ede etu ma kalla duna. Namut, etu ma age siyalu karana avalata api SPA gana atta usana ekanga taave katavila naya.